So recently people have been watching the how-to series of this Garmin Echomap UHD2, the second generation of this 93SV that Garmin came out with. And one of the main questions that I see popping up recently, and it's mostly because of all the Christmas sales that happened about a month ago, and now we're getting in, almost into the springtime sales are kicking off. The bundle that you can see of the first generation 93SV versus the bundle that you get with the, the second generation that you see here, People are asking, is it worth spending a little less money and potentially getting maybe a live scope bundle added on to it, or is it worth going with the second generation with the upgraded uh, side view, down view, 2D sonar transducer? So this video, I'm gonna break down some of the specs on the first generation Garmin Echo Maps versus the second generation that you see here, and whether or not you should spend your money uh, either on the first generation and maybe pair it with a Garmin Live Scope if that's within your budget, or just go ahead and get the second generation uh, Garmin Echo Map series. So let's talk about the main differences between the Garmin Echo Map UHD1, the Gen 1 series, versus the Gen 2. The Gen 1 has a screen resolution of 800 by 480 pixels, I believe. Uh, the Gen 2 has 1042 by 600 pixels, so you get a better screen resolution with the Gen 2. It, actually, the Gen 2 that you see here is very comparable to the uh, Garmin GPS map units that I use on my boat, the 1042 XSV and the 1022. Uh, screen resolution is the exact same. So you're getting a higher screen resolution from a bigger screen, but you're put in this more compact platform with the second generation Echo Map. Now, the bundles that you're seeing out there, the first generation bundles come with the GT54 transducer, whereas a lot of these newer bundles come with the GT56 transducer. So let me talk about the difference between those. The GT54 transducer uh, uses megahertz imaging, ultra HD imaging. Uh, for side view only, whereas a down view mode on the GT54 transducer only uses 850 kilohertz. Compare that to the GT56 transducer, it uses mega imaging, I think it's 1.2 megahertz, I believe it is, for both side view and down view. So that's the upgrade there. Also, the GT56 transducer paired with this second gen, the 2D sonar setting, I believe, goes all the way down to 50 kilohertz. So if you're somebody that fishes maybe offshore, deeper water, I'm talking like 200, 300 feet deep, that lower setting, that 50 kilohertz, might be something that you want in a 2D sonar. Again, I'm, I'm thinking guys that fish saltwater offshore type of stuff. But uh, that's the main difference between the GT56 versus GT54. GT54 only has mega imaging for the side view. GT56 has mega imaging or ultra HD imaging for both side view and down view. Um, so that's what you're, that's why there's a price difference there. Uh, when it comes to the mapping systems on the Gen 1 versus Gen 2, it's pretty similar. I read on the Garmin specs for the Gen 2, there's 11 or 12 more different, I guess, mapping settings that are available in the Gen 2. I haven't played around with all of them yet. I, I'm still working on that, but uh, both Echo Map units use Navionics mapping system. You can upgrade them via the Active Captain app at any time. Um, they're both compatible with the Navionics Vision Plus system, uh, which I actually do. I ended up getting a subscription for the Northern States. It's it's a pretty useful tool. Uh, kind of watching some drop off shading and finding some inside turns and outside turns of points. The only other major difference that I notice when it comes to the first generation from the second generation is how these systems mount into the bale themselves. Uh, the first generation was more of a clip-on mount uh, where you just kind of pushed it in and it kind of snapped on. Whereas this second generation system, it's like a flip-on latch mount where it seems like it's a little bit more solid to the base. So if you hit a big wave or if you're like me and you got it on your snowmobile, I don't know if my snowmobile's in the shot, it's right over here, but, uh, and you hit a big snow drift or something, um, I'm less worried on the second gens of it popping out because it's, it's clipped in there pretty good. So the, again, the major differences are in the bundles. You're getting a transducer, the GT54, in the cheaper bundle that doesn't quite have all the bells and whistles as the upgraded version, the GT56 with the Gen 2. Um, you can always sell, if you wanna buy that uh, inexpensive or the less expensive bundle with the GT54, you can always sell that transducer and buy just the GT56 transducer to upgrade at some point with the Gen 1, it's very, it's compatible. Um, screen resolution is probably the other big difference between the two units. This has the comparable screen resolution to the 10 inch screens of the GPS map family. 
that Garmin has. Whereas the, the Gen 1s, they got the 800 by 400 pixels, which again, still works great. I used it for many years. Uh, you'll be able to find fish no problem. I think the biggest difference is gonna be when it comes to live scope. The people that were messaging to me about these bundles were also asking about, should I pair it with live scope? Which one should I get for live scope? Um, they wanna run it, both the regular side imaging transducer and a live scope system. And, it, and yes, you can do that. You know, there's two different plugins. There's an ethernet plug-in on the back of it. And uh, you can plug in your, trans, your regular transducer. There's a separate connection for that. So if I'm just getting this for live scope, well, honestly, if, if I'm spending money just to pair this with live scope and I don't care about the other transducer, the side view transducer, I'm probably looking at a 10 inch screen. If I'm, I'm looking at the 1022 or the 1042 GPS map units. But if I'm buying this kind of as an all around platform for my boat, side view, down view, 2D sonar and live scope system, if you have the money, I would recommend the second generation purely for that screen resolution. The image is going to be a lot crisper and cleaner. Um, your separation from objects is going to be a little bit better. You can be, be able to tell fish within, I mean, I've used the Gen 1 on some brush piles down south and, and some big timber reservoirs down south, and it's very, very good. The Gen 2 is just going to be that much crisper. Um, and, and I get just because of the screen resolution, there's a reason I upgraded to the GPS map family of units, uh, which has the same screen resolution as this. It, it just, it gives it that much more of a crisp image and that much more of a separation to be able to see a fish between brush or timber or rocks. Uh, whereas, you know, on some of the lower resolution screens, you might not be able to see it. But if, you, if you're thinking about, okay, I want to be able to save some money a little bit and still be able to get live scope, I would go with the, the Gen 1 GT54 transducer setup and use that. I think it's like a three to $400 difference between these unit bundles. Go with the Gen 1, get your live scope. I, I would rather have you be happy on the water uh, with spending a little bit less money. So that is kind of the breakdown between whether you should get the second generation versus the first generation. Obviously, if you got the budget, this is a great option, the second generation. There's a reason the Garmin EchoMap 93SV uh, paired with the LiveScope unit is one of the hottest selling combos that Garmin has. Um, and it's because it's a great, I guess, budget item when you're getting into the Garmin LiveScope space, the forward facing sonar space. These units are great to start with and they hold their value, okay? So if, you know, a couple years down the road, you wanna upgrade to a 10 or 12 inch screen, resale value on these units holds true and uh, you know, you'll still be able to upgrade without taking too much of a hit on the price. So there you have it. Check out the Garmin EchoMap 93SV, both the second gen and the first generation unit. And I will link the Garmin LiveScope stuff uh, where you can check those out down below in the video description. It's cold, I'm gonna get back in the tent right now because it's like negative nine and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish today. So appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water or the ice this season. We'll see you in the next one.